Okay, before we get started, shout out to EA Star Wars for releasing the August calendar on August 1st. All jokes aside, we tend to get these calendars a couple of days after the month begins, so truly, well done. I'm the one who is late to the party. Welcome back to the Star Bazaar, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna jump right into it. We've got some Battlefront 2 news to go over, as well as the community calendar for the month of August. Let's check it out. We're gonna start on the calendar, and we've got a couple of Battle Point events happening this month. Today is the 7th, I missed reporting on the first one that took place from the 2nd to the 4th. We're past that, so the next one coming up is on August 9th, and this is a battle point event for the vehicles. All vehicles in Galactic Assault and Capital Supremacy will be 75% less in battle point cost, and that's going on until the 11th. Next, from the 16th to the 18th, Heroes Unleashed returns to Galactic Assault and Capital Supremacy. All heroes will have 75% less battle point cost during this weekend, and in Galactic Assault specifically, up to 8 heroes can be on the battlefront per side. In Capital Supremacy, we still have the same number of heroes, but that was also said the last time Heroes Unleashed came around, and we ended up being able to play all the heroes in CS, so we'll see what happens. Next, and this is probably the biggest news coming from the community calendar, from August 20th to the 25th is Gamescom 2019, which is taking place in Germany this year. In honor of the event, for the duration of it, there will be Triple Experience active in Battlefront 2 for those five days. A great opportunity to catch up on some levels if you're behind, but the big news is the fact that we will be getting more information about Battlefront 2's future, specifically a look ahead at the next couple of months. My guess is that we're going to get a look at Felucia, the new upcoming planet we're getting in the fall, and probably a sneak peek at some more new content features. Specifically features that will fulfill a prophecy foretold by Ben Walk, our community manager a couple of months ago. I'm looking forward to it, especially because Battlefront 2 has needed news of new content for quite some time now. The last event outlined on the community calendar is from August 30th to September 1st, and this is a Heroes vs. Villains event, which I think is the first of its kind. During this weekend, only lightsaber heroes will be available in Heroes vs. Villains, so no blaster heroes on either side. I don't know if that includes Palpatine, but either way, this is a pretty unique event. I don't think we've had something like this. HVV is pretty much already all lightsabers anyway, but I mean, this could still be fun without a pesky blaster hero picking you off from a distance. Besides the event, at the bottom here there's a note that says, Additionally, for those who were not able to get them, all of the Summer Community Quest voice lines and victory poses can be unlocked again this weekend. So if you missed your chance to get either the Darth Maul, General Grievous, Obi-Wan, or even Yoda poses and voice lines, you'll get a second chance during that weekend. The Yoda pose and voice line is actually available right now in Battlefront 2. We completed the quest about two days ago, I believe. So if you haven't already, hop into Battlefront 2 and claim those while you can. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until the 30th to get your chance to get them again. Also, also, there's a second notice down below that says Double XP Wednesday. That's just a reminder that every Wednesday this month will be double experience in Battlefront 2. Now, you may have noticed that there's no mention of the August update itself on the calendar, which is pretty weird because the calendar usually gives us the exact release date of the update that month. I'm guessing the team just hasn't dialed the exact date in themselves yet, which is why it's not on the calendar, but our community manager Jay does confirm that there is indeed an update coming this month. It's just not on the calendar right now. That's it for the August community calendar. Moving on to some Battlefront 2 news, we have two tweets from Ben Walk that really caught my interest this morning. The first one is news about bug fixes coming to Battlefront 2, which made me jump for joy because it desperately needs some of these. Ben Walk says, We are working on bug fixes. We recently started diverting more time to be dedicated for bug fixes, which is great to hear. The game has felt pretty rocky the last month or so, and a lot of that does have to do with the fact that we didn't get a proper update last month, so we've just been riding that wave of the current state of the game as it was about two months ago. I would not expect the August update to be purely about bug fixes, since according to the Battlefront 2 roadmap, we are supposed to be getting the new ways to play in August, which I think will be the main focus of that update. If we don't get more information before then, we'll probably get info on these new ways to play during Gamescom as well, so I'm looking forward to that. We still have no information on what that could be. But, bug fixes. Expect those probably this month and I'm assuming next month as well. Our last bit of news today comes in the form of a response Ben Walk had to somebody out on Twitter revolving around capital supremacy. Lou asks, what do you think about adding AI to capital supremacy on the ship phase to guard the objectives? Too many times, the team boarding can plant bombs faster than the defending team can get there, particularly the CIS ship, and spawn points could use some work maybe? 
all great points, and Benwalk responds by saying, in theory, we could add the auto players, or the AI, to the ship phase. We aren't 100% happy with that phase anyway, can expect tweaks in the future. This is good to hear, because while the ship phase is fun, it's a very unique experience, it does need some work, especially after the introduction of the droidicas. Rolly boys can get to the objective way before anybody else can, and this is especially bad during the bomb planting phase, because they can get there, plant the bomb, and the bomb will usually go off before the clones can even get there to try to disarm it. It's pretty bad. So I'm very glad they're looking into it. I think some changes to the spawn points would help with this a lot. But that's going to do it for this Battlefront 2 news update video. I appreciate you all sticking with me and my scratchy voice. I know I'm not sounding the best right now. I've been recording vocals hard the last couple of days, and I've been having a lot of fun with it, but my voice has been suffering. So, vocal rest here on out. Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar, and I will see you all out on the Battlefront. Peace.